I think of around 15 fights. So I had my first one when I was 13 in my hometown in Straban. That was probably one of the greatest moments of my life. I won by an armbar in like, I think it was like in 50 seconds or something. I was just a little young kid, 13, going in. Hometown, everyone can they watch me and just going in and going at it. <laughs> it was a wonderful feeling. I think I got into it when I was about 12 and I just started because it was like a local thing and people were just doing it and I just heard about it and I was like, okay, I'll go and try and see what this thing's about. I tried it out and from that day on it, I've never, never even thought about stopping it. It was just became me. So it, did, it was that was it. I've been just obsessed with it ever since. <laughs> yeah, as a kid, I was a little fat kid, pretty much. But I was like really like short tempered like with my brother and stuff he's just cracking like fighting and stuff all the time and and stuff he used to be just really like to the temper problem basically and then once I started training then I'm like the most relaxed person <laughs> you'll ever come across I just go with the flow now but back then I was like really like bad tempered and stuff <laughs> I think I've been to Iceland, this is my sixth or seventh time. So it is, and I've been here like, each time I come, I come for like six weeks or five weeks or something like this at a time. It's, it's a beautiful place to train. Like the food and just the culture here is, it's very nice. And every girl is so damn hot. <laughs> The day before the fight, is, I feel like a little anxious, or not anxious I'd say, but I've got like a little feeling in my stomach and it going to the weigh-ins and you weigh in and then you get some food and chill and then that night then you get a little, like a little buzz or something, growing but I always go to bed that night and I have the best sleep ever. It's a weird thing and I wake up and it's just like, it's just chill. So it is, I don't think I'm just happy. And that's it. And then I go to the event and it, John was always like, I find it very strange that I just be so hyper and like happy. So it is where people be like, very into themselves and like, like hungry and like whatever. I'm just like happy and cracking jokes and just waiting to have some fun, do what I do. You walk in, and especially for me, they're quite young, the most fighting guys are older and bigger and stuff, and you see some massive guys standing there looking to take her head off, and he's fucking huge, and <laughs> you're just like saying he's coming for me, and you just have to be prepared and be like, it's on, I'm going at him, and that's it. I'm not taking a step back and going to pit it on him and not take it off him. And it's just a wonderful feeling seeing being able to do that. Definitely not scary. I don't feel like, I don't see the reason to be scared to do something you love. 
I mean, I love fighting, I love getting in there, I love the cry, I love the, the feeling of not knowing what's going to happen. It's, I mean, what's, what's nothing to be scared about, that's just extra stuff on your mind. If this was all I saw, what would we do then? I met John Cavanaugh, my coach, when I in my second MMA fight. I think it was. I was fighting a guy who was uh, like 20, 21 years old or something. And John was judging the show, and I was only 13 at the time. And John heard about me like fighting this guy who was 21, and he wouldn't judge my fight because he says a kid fighting a 21 year old man will like ruin the sport in Ireland. So he didn't judge my fight, and he seen it. And I went in and whipped the guy in the three rounds, three round decision. And uh, I just got like speaking to him and there was words he didn't agree with it and I was like looking to fight all the time and I, I just went, I mean, that was the first ever time I ever met John. And then I was like, I was still fighting and I met John again at another show or something. And then I just got speaking to him and he's a really nice guy and he says they can welcome down to train anytime I want and then I used to just like, I was still at school, so I would have like been at school and then straight after school, hopped on the bus, went to Dublin, trained for two or three hours, hopped on the bus, getting home at like two or three in the morning, getting up, going to school again, and then maybe training back home before school, and getting up then after a while I was doing this and I was like tired all the time, and, and then I just like said to my parents, and I, I want to quit school and just, just uh, fight and train. And they were like a little bit if he bought it to start and was like, no, you can't just leave school. And then I like kept talking about it and then they just seen the positive side of it and seen that I didn't want to be in school but I wanted to fight and train. And then they just there they supported me the whole way. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do that. And I I live with John and I. My coach is like in Dublin, he's like a big brother to me or something. It's just, it's wonderful. He's my role model, he's the guy I go with, John Kavna. He says I'll do. I've stuck by that so far and it's worked out okay, I guess. <laughs> it's not the worst. <laughs> be the greatest ever. That's it. I just want to be the greatest ever. Cause